everybody how y'all doing this is Dave uh, what I'm going to show you this morning is uh, I'm going to run through the infinity uh, platform here and just show you a couple little things I'm going to like I said in another video I'm going to be making a series of videos to help you set this thing up and learn how to use it and I'm, I'm going to you know make several videos not there's no way we can cram it all into one so what we're going to do, we're going to start uh, with a simple bracket order. What you see in the background here is a live chart of the EF, so you may see this candle moving. Now, what a simple bracket order is, is you, you have an entry, you have an exit, and you have a stop. That's a simple bracket. The way you set that up is you select the quantity of contracts you want to trade up here you see I have three now the reason I have three if you saw the previous videos you know that I set that up and this little uh, platform right here default quantity three so that's why mine will come up three but if I want to change it I just you know click it up or down it'll change it whatever I want okay simple bracket quick click I've got mine set by default that means I only have to click on the buy or the sell side one time and it uh, enters my order uh, you have to have auto check for the simple bracket to work now you've got to set some parameters so we're gonna go down here profit we want a profit of let's say two points so we're gonna set that to eight there's four ticks to a point. Everything in here is based on ticks. So profit eight would give us two ES points. That's $100 per contract uh, for two. Two points. Now our stop loss, let's set it for uh, one point. So we want to set it for one, two, three, four ticks. Okay. Now, to execute this trade, I have several options. I can just go right here, and I can click anywhere on this dome. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do some different things just to show you. Let's say I want to go, uh, let's see what we got here. Let's say I want to go short. I would click right here. Price is at 1091 and 3 quarters. So I would put my cursor right here on the uh, the red side, which is the sell side. And it's moved up, so I'm going to move it. I'm going to click 1092. Okay, you can see I have three. I'm waiting to get filled at 1092. So when we get filled, you will see the rest of the... Uh, okay. Now, the bracket order was filled. Now, look what happened, and this did this automatically. I didn't have to do anything. It put a one-point stop at 1093, because we were filled at 1092. And remember where we set our profit down here uh, to two points? We've got our exit down here at 1090. So now, that's one way we can enter that trade. It's just by simply clicking on this. Now, I'm going to show you different functions. Don't worry about whether this trade is successful or not. That's not the point. The point is to show you how to use the platform. Let's say this trade is going to go against us, or I got in the trade and I said, oh, crap. I wasn't thinking. You know, I, I took the wrong side. You can go right here. You can hit a reverse button and it will reverse this trade it will go from short three contracts to long three contracts but now you have to remember when you reverse if you have a loss that loss is going to count see right now we have the 75 dollar loss so i'm going to hit reverse and i want you to pay close attention to what happens on the dome i hit reverse now look I'm filled at 92.50. Now I'm long. See, plus three. So I have a uh, exit target of, of two points, 
and a stop at one point. So I just, what I did, I reversed my position. First I was short, then I reversed it to long, but notice down here, $75 loss. Okay, you have to keep that in mind. Just because you reverse, doesn't mean you get, <laughs> it doesn't mean you get a do-over. You know, you, you still have to take your lumps. Okay, let's say I'm in this trade, and the phone starts ringing, uh, somebody's knocking at the door, my dog's peed in the floor, uh, you know, everything's just going wrong, I, I can't manage this trade, I'm getting confused, I'm getting, you know, panicky, there's a button right here called flatten, all I gotta do is hit that flatten button, and it's gonna cancel everything right where it's at, and keep in mind, if you're up or down, right here we're down 37.50, you will take that loss, and you will probably take one tick slippage that means instead of flattening at 92 and a quarter it's probably going to flatten at uh, 92 so we're going to hit the flatten button now look what happened all the orders are gone we're completely out but now we have a loss of 150 so always keep in mind if you reverse if you flatten uh, if you have a profit or a loss it is going to uh, you know that's where it's going to close that position okay let's show you a couple other ways you can enter a trade you can hit buy market this blue button right here says buy market the red one is sell market I don't recommend ever using these buttons because you can get filled anywhere uh, because it is a market order and I can almost guarantee you you're going to get at least one tick slippage under here we have join bid and join offer. What that means is you're joining the bid at the current price or you're joining the offer at the current price. So let's say price right now is 92 and a quarter. I want to go long. So that would be I'm going to bid. I'm going to hit join bid and you can see it put me a bid in at 92 because that's where the bid is. Now, we're going to wait just a second, see if we get filled. I'm not going to wait long because, okay, we should have got filled. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to wait too long because these YouTube videos, you know, they're limited to 10 minutes. And, and I don't want to take up all my time just sitting here waiting for a fill. Okay, let's say I changed my mind. I haven't been filled yet. And, and again... The phone rings, somebody's knocking at the door, uh, the dog has peed in the floor, whatever. Hit cancel all. And see that order went away. I have no open orders. None whatsoever. So that is just a quick video on how you can use uh, your reverse, your flatten, your cancel, your buy and your join buttons. Uh, I hope you have a good day. I hope you make a lot of money. Always use a stop loss order. I can't stress that enough. If you don't use stop loss orders, you're going to get your butt burnt. It's that simple. There's no way around it. It's going to happen. So in all my videos, I say use a stop loss order. Well, when I say that, I really want you to use a stop loss order. I'm going to drill that into your head until you get it. Okie dokie. Y'all have a good day out there, and I will talk to you later.